All right, guys, just like the title said, today we're cutting the knuckles on the FDRX7. All right, I hesitated on recording any of this because one, I have no idea what I'm doing and this could kind of be dangerous. You know, you really don't want to mess with like, you know, your suspension if you don't know what you're doing. And I definitely do not know what I'm doing. Not welding or suspension geometry or whatever. I just looked at pictures. I looked up FD drifting knuckles, seeing what everybody was doing was like, why not give it a shot? So that's what I did. <laughs> um, Let's see here. I got a little carried away because in the pictures, people wasn't really moving the location in that much. But I cut like this much out of the steering knuckle, which is a lot. <laughs> um, I have one side done. I have a heat gun because my welder is like crap. It's not really meant to weld this type of thick metal. So I have a heat gun over here. That's where the noise is kind of heating up the knuckle where I got this side um, tacked together um, <laughs> this is super super sketchy but like I said I don't care I mean any car I get I'm gonna drift and like I said I've never had any type of drifting mod whatsoever no angle kits no anything no cut knuckles so this is the first angle kit I've ever had so it's kind of cool yeah but like I said this is kind of sketchy I don't recommend doing this because if you don't know what you're doing welding and this is weak and it breaks I mean, even if it breaks at like normal driving speed at 50, 60 miles an hour, it could get bad really, really quick. So I don't recommend doing this at all. But if you want to see what happens if an idiot does this, make sure you stay tuned. We'll see how this works. But I got one side done. Uh, I don't know if that's actually focusing pretty good, but it's not too bad. I grind it down to make it look neat. I was going to overlap them, basically move it down here that way i could have welded all across the beam you know the length of it but one i didn't want it to look that way like i think it wants you let me turn this real quick <clears throat> but if you know anything about fdr x7s that is definitely an improvement on angle and even at ride height <clears throat> that is more angle than this this car will ever see because i don't think a tire is going to fit and clear that so this is kind of sketchy i think as long as my welds hold up which i really really hope they do because like i said i would hate to crash my car i'm over here like cooking my freaking boot heat gun fell down on it but like I was saying, if this breaks and you're driving down the road, you know, highway speeds next to someone, that's really bad. So I'm going to be very cautious with this and drive the car around, pull it, you know, drive the car around the block, come home, check it out. Something I'm going to keep my eye on very, like a lot. So. That way I can see if they're starting to get any fracture cracks or anything like that. Well, like I said, with preheating and everything like that, and I, you know, I um, put a good channel and the material. That way I could, you know, go up, weld it, and kind of just keep the weld going, just kind of up and down, back, and just really got it hot and penetrated at the material as much as I could. So, I think it will hold, but, you know, that kind of stuff, it's kind of sketchy. It freaks me out. So, like I said, I don't recommend doing it. If it's just your track car and it's you and your buddies on track, I guess it wouldn't hurt, but I'm actually going to drive this thing. But anyway, I'm rambling. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get it knocked out, show you guys the finished result, and then I'll show you the difference of the angle and what I think is going to happen. I don't know. We'll see. I figured I would take a quick moment and show kind of the welding process, whatever. Like, so I'm not a welder, so don't listen to me about anything. If you're a welder and you see this, you can give me your advice if this thing is a hold or not. But, so what I've done was when I cut it, you know, I cut them in like, put a, a good channel, you know, a V, like a pretty deep V right through here, so I could penetrate on the side, and I tacked it up top, and then I had that V on the sides, so I could, you know, get good penetration through there. 
on each side. So I kept just blugging, you know, bubble gumming the weld in there. So I got good penetration, or at least think. And then I went back to where. Ooh. All right. Now that it's wanting to focus, I guess. And then I went back to where I had it tacked. Why are you not focusing? God, this camera sucks. But anyway. Come on, man. Focus. Shit. But then I went back to where I had it tacked and, you know, cut a channel so I could weld across the top. So I get, you know, penetration across the top, sides, and, and the bottom as well. And you can kind of see just barely in there. It's where there's not penetration in the center of that. But I think between the four corners being welded, it should hold up. Or at least I'm hoping it does. Yeah, like I said, I'm not a welder. I just turned the heat up on this thing. I cranked it wide open and just, I mean, I think it's, it will weld up to like a quarter inch, I think, is what it says. But from my experience, it's never really, you know, been like good at like anything that thick. So, but anyway, um, yeah. So that's what I did. I'm gonna finish this side up and clean the weld up around it so it looks like the other side, so it's nice and smooth. And I'm probably not going to paint them. I'm gonna leave them nice and smooth. That way it's, you know, as I'm checking on it, I can clearly see a crack forming. So, yeah. So I'm gonna do that. And uh, thing was crossed. <laughs> I have another set of knuckles that are off a parts car of mine. So if this works out good, I might cut them and tack it and, um, you know, take it to a professional, have them weld it. That way, I'll have a lot of confidence in them. <laughs> but alright, that's enough of me rambling on that. Like I said, I just wanted to show the welding process. So if you have any insight on that, you can let me know what you think. But I'm going to go ahead and finish this side up, grind it down smooth, and drop this thing on the ground. And uh, we'll see what the, the angle improvement is between stock and cut knuckles. So, alright. All right, real quick, I figured. <laughs> real quick, I figured I'd show y'all what the welds look like. This side definitely come out better than that side. That side is windy, like always, when I'm trying to do something. So I was having problems with the wind blowing the shielding gas away. So I mean, I just like cranked on the shielding gas and kind of tried to cover it the best I could. But yeah, I definitely feel like this side went better. But I'll show you what it looks like before I grind it smooth and everything. So. If it will focus on it. I mean, I think it turned out okay for someone that has no idea what they're doing. So, I mean, it's definitely not a professional welding job. But like I said, I just kind of, kind of kept going back and forth, just kind of trying to get a lot of penetration and heat. At the top, you know, I just kind of went through that channel and then I went on both sides of that channel to kind of build up the material. Yeah. I don't know if I should grind it smooth or leave it that way, but I'm gonna grind it smooth. I think it'd be easier to see if it cracks and stuff like that. But you can kind of see on this side, there's a few spots. Uh oh, there's some few spots where it doesn't really look like, this side didn't turn out as good. But we'll see. All right, we got everything together. Get a quick turn. That's pretty much it right there, which is pretty good. It's actually hitting down here on the um, caliper bolt, which we'll go in a little bit more. I, haven't, I don't have that tight yet, but pretty good to me. And that's to the front. Of course, there's no restriction on that side because I don't have that side done yet, but yeah, I don't think it's gonna turn that far when I put the caliper on the other side. But yeah, you can see it kind of hitting right there. So that's pretty good, I think. But that's pretty much it. It's hitting against, like I said, it's hitting against that caliper bolt, so. But that's with the wheel on. I mean, that's a lot of angle, especially just for cutting the knuckles, I think. That's pretty cool. And if you turn it all the, to the other way, 
Like I said, it hits on that, that knuckle again. It barely rubs on the inside right there a little bit. Uh, so it might not be too bad. Probably on a, with like weight on it and the suspension compressed in, it might be more. But it's not too bad. This thing still needs to be lined up too, so hopefully it'll pull the wheel back more. All right, guys, I just got back from the alignment in the shop, um, so I did get the drive on the knuckles. You really can't even tell it, to be honest with you. It's like, uh, definitely feels like it may be faster, if that's the thing. Like, you know, the steering is faster. Uh, but the biggest thing I've noticed is just like, I don't know, it kind of seems like it, it falls in. So it's kind of like, when you're turning, there's a certain point where it just goes, and like the steering just like wants to die. <laughs> but, I don't know. We'll see. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, they will actually turn more than this, but like I said, it's just uh, you know, kind of got to hold a little bit. So, but it doesn't appear to be rubbing. Uh, let's see here. Which it might be. I mean, it's really it's rubbing a little bit. Yeah, uh, it's kind of close. But I mean, I think that's, I wouldn't say it's a big improvement, but it's definitely an improvement over stock, um, for sure. Because I can get the, wish I had, like did the white car when it was like with the LS and the coilovers and everything, the same ride height. So, because this car was like all apart, so yeah. Um, that's pretty much it. Like I said, man, I don't recommend doing this because I don't want anybody to get it, put themselves in a bad situation. But this is not my daily driving vehicle, so this is just my fun vehicle. So I can like drive around and check it and stuff like that and keep an eye on it. But anyway, we got a lot of cool stuff coming up, you know, in the future plan for this FDR X7. So make sure you stick around and you also get to see all the other content with other cars I've got going on, all this crazy stuff. But yeah, that's enough of me rambling, guys. Like I said, I greatly appreciate you sticking around, subscribing, sharing, and watching all this crazy stuff. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you out there. Thanks again.